Any basketball fan that's watching this is probably going to be pretty pleased. So many people view, including the man himself, Greg Oden, as the biggest bust ever. He went to Lawrence North High School. He played with Mike Conley and Daquan Cook. That trio was recruited by Thad Mata from Indianapolis and played at Ohio State where he succeeded. And even at his time at Ohio State, he broke his shooting hand, shot free throws with his left hand, and still shot above 70%. The kid was good. There was no doubt about his talent. He went to the NBA, and as you're seeing right here, it was just plagued by injuries. 2010, 2011, 2012 seasons, he sat out because of injuries. In 105 games, he averaged 8 and 6. 8 points per game, 6 rebounds per game. The guy that was selected after him in that draft, a guy by the name of Kevin Durant. So it's safe to say, as he even said to Jeff Goodman in 2016, I'll be remembered as the biggest bust in NBA history. He then said his playing days were over. He has since been an assistant coach at Ohio State. Prior to retiring, the last time that he played in the NBA, I believe was with the Miami Heat, and the last time that he played professionally was in China. So here's the good news. The Big Three put out this tweet today saying that he is going to be in the draft combine pool. So it's weird to think that a guy of Greg Oden's not only stature, but I understand it's disappointing, but what he has done previously in his career that he needs to try out. But the big three, as we have covered many times on TYT Sports, they are making good moves, man. I am pleased with what Ice Cube has done. I'm pleased with what many that have gone on uh, and have put in a ton of work behind the scenes have done. They now have Nate Robinson. They now have Glenn Big Baby Davis. They now have Baron Davis. They now have Metal World Peace. They now have Carlos Boozer. They now have Drew Gooden. They are putting together a good cast going forward. The first year was a win. I covered it in Los, uh, Los Angeles. I wasn't in Los Angeles yet. I covered it in Chicago, and they drew a huge crowd. Chance the Rapper sat courtside. DMX performed in between games. The crowd was great. Everybody had a great time. Yet, it seems like they are only improving from there. Getting a guy like Greg Oden, not only is it a familiar name, but you're giving him a second chance, which it seems like that's all that he could possibly want at this point. Yeah, he can go back to coaching. Any of these guys can go back to what they were doing. But to hopefully see him succeed, and hopefully he is fully healthy from all the knee injuries that he had and the psychological warfare that went on for him, knowing how great of a player you are, and then having this coming down from earth moment because of those injuries and not living up to even your own expectations. I am rooting for Greg Oden. I'm rooting for the big three. And I hope all of you are as well. Let us know your thoughts. Leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe to TYT Sports and do me a favor before you log off and go to another browser. Let us know what you would like to, us to talk about going further in the comment section and we will devote a video to that topic. We'll see you soon.